We are proposing, Joanne, the Labour Party, Ed Miliband, that over the next few months, we agree a programme that the Scottish Parliament should have increased powers in welfare, in social and economic policy, and in finance. We are also proposing that there is a timetable for delivery. So immediately the referendum is over on September the 19th, we start the process of new laws to enhance the powers of the Parliament. By the end of October, we would have a command paper through the House of Commons where we would show the proposals that can strengthen the Parliament. By the end of November, after a period of consultation with the people of Scotland, as there should be, we will have the equivalent of a white paper, in other words, setting out the terms of agreement about what these new powers that will be introduced are. By the beginning of January next year, and then by the end of January, we will publish the draft law that will show the new Scotland Act that will be created. And the powers of the Scottish Parliament that we are proposing are in 12 different areas where we believe it can be strengthened. In land use, so that we have more control over the land of Scotland, reforming the Crown Estates Commission. In transport, so we have the option, if we want to, that there will be a non-profit free railway company, non-profit making railway company running Scotland. On jobs, the work programme devolves so that we can get our young unemployed into work more effectively by decisions here. Skills training, apprenticeships, so that we can actually do what should be done already, and that is to give young people the chances they are not getting to have decent apprenticeships. And then on the infrastructure, to be able to build better social and economic fabric for the whole of Scotland by borrowing and by investment. Powers to invest in the future. Powers over elections and attendance allowance. We know the problems. We need to integrate health and social care. So we will have powers over attendance allowance within the Scottish Parliament. Housing benefit. There never again could be a bedroom tax imposed by Westminster on Scotland because we will give the power to set housing benefit to the Labour people and everybody else who's in the Scottish Parliament. These are big and there we're going to leave 